halfback flank, David Grant, St Kilda. David Grant really enjoyed the luxury of settling in one place for very long in the bad old days at St Kilda. In this year's revival, Grant, with his superb leap and vice-like marking power, has established himself as one of the premier halfbacks in the league. Well, David, with all the uh, forwards getting all the kudos down there at St Kilda, you must have almost felt like a forgotten man down there. No, I don't think like I'm a forgotten man, no, not at all. Um, the forwards, the forwards warrant all the publicity they get because they are good. Center. Forward, Stuart Lowe, St Kilda. The biggest hands in footy continue to drag in the biggest marks of the year for St Kilda. A wonderful year for the Saints was sparked by the continued dominance of Stuart Lowe at centre half forward. And as a bonus, his improved goal kicking added further spark to the best forward line in the business. Stewie, a finals match after 18 years of drought. It must have been magnificent to be part of the St Kilda revival. Yeah, it certainly was uh, magnificent Pete, to be a part of it, but uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, we were seven points down at the end of the day, and that's what it's really all about. Nicky Winmar, St Kilda. A late starter because of suspension carried over from last year, Nicky Winmar dazzled everyone with his magical performances on the forward line for the Saints. His zip, his marking and his uncanny ability to search out Tony Lockett made him a crowd favourite. Tony Lockett, St Kilda. He played only 17 games and topped double figures in seven of them. Superlatives can't adequately, adequately describe Tony Lockett's contribution to football in 1991. The Coleman medalist overcame a crippling back injury to again top the century and post a personal best of 127 goals. The year that saw St Kilda back in the big time after 18 lonely years. Tony, you put in a big pre-season, you really worked hard. Are we seeing a more mature, restrained Tony Lockett these days? Oh, well, I'm not too sure about that, but, um, you know, it's just a, a great effort from all the boys down the club to reach the finals after having a long absence and... I know the feeling around the club at the moment is that, you know, the boys are real keen to go a couple better next year. 